Hello, uh, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Thursday, the uh, 18th January 2018. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal. Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand in terms of European markets this morning? FTSE really is the weakest uh, uh, laggard at the moment, certainly under uh, severe pressure, actually broken through below. 7700 now. German DAX certainly remains afloat above plus, plus 50. French CAC certainly keeping its head above water as well. Certainly being helped by the euro, obviously breaking back down to 1.22. Let's see if you can break through that region on the back of dovish talk with regards to the ECB. In terms of uh, Asian markets overnight, certainly rebounding on the back of that stronger Chinese data. Hang Seng, Shanghai certainly high up, 0.9% uh, on the Shanghai and 0.5% on the Hang Seng, whilst the Nikkei certainly lagging. And that was again on the USD JPY. So that's the status quo there. In terms of US markets, certainly uh, uh, rallied right back to the highs yesterday, uh, as you can see with regards to the S&P. If I bring up the chart of the S&P for you folks here, okay. Uh, rallied right back to gap double top, okay. Double top is seen at 2808. And uh, in terms of the NASDAQ as well, certainly rallying or screaming right back higher. Can we continue? Can, uh, will we continue? That's the question. Can we continue? Will we continue? That's the question we have to ask ourselves at present. Okay. Now, will the US markets hold that double top and then reverse, or will they continue to make new highs? Now, stronger Chinese data and Asian markets certainly higher. Else, but well, not, not necessarily all Asian markets, but in Nikkei certainly lower. You have the uh, Shanghai Hang Seng certainly higher. That's the question. Okay. Let's look at the Asian markets just for now. You have the Shanghai breaking through. Okay, breaking through gap fill on the daily chart and actually making a new highs for now. Next potential resistance is seen at 500 on my chart, so certainly breaking out here. Uh, in terms of the Nikkei, let's just bring up the Nikkei for you as well on the daily chart. Still uh, positioning, potentially consolidating. And as we already know on the weekly chart, we're certainly at highs. So do we move higher or do we move lower? That's the question. Either way, uh, the economic data really, or the focus for now, really is stronger Chinese data. There's nothing out from the European markets. We do have US data later on at half past one, building permits, jobless claims, etc. Let's see how the markets play out there. Let's look at the technical picture then. Uh, German DAX at the moment, uh, basically just trading sideways. Really, it's uh, no uh, move either way. 10 minute chart is finding resistance around this 13,250 zone. You do have the unfilled gap at 13,185, so keep an eye out there. In terms of the French CAC, okay, you do have this potential HS formation in play. All eyes on the HS formation on the, the French CAC, okay. Uh, daily chart at the moment is still holding that double top. 10 minute chart as well, you're certainly facing resistance. Uh, certainly seeing weakness here, oscillating between that two, two, two zones. You have resistance here, lower high, okay. Uh, and we've certainly been uh, obviously trading sideways ever since. You do have double bottom support here at 5 uh, for 85. Let's see if that potential level can hold, okay, in terms of French CAC. But all eyes on that HS formation. FTSE 100 certainly making lower lows and lower highs. I was expecting this double bottom to hold at 7710. That's failed to do so. And we've certainly uh, started to plunge daily chart. You can see the weakness there now, breaking below 7700, triggering stops. Let's see if it continues. If it continues and you are looking to retest 7600, looking to retest 7560 as well, so watch out there. In terms of the 60 minute chart, the full seat, you are into a key, key support zone now around this 7700, 7695. If this fails to hold, then we're looking to retest 7645, potentially opens up 7630 as well on the FTSE 100. Ever since we've broken out with this channel here, okay, the FTSE certainly has been miserable. Uh, that's probably the best way of putting it at present. Okay, so certainly has been weak ever since we've broken out this channel and obviously it's on the downside so let's see what happens here this is a key test now in this zone 7695 7700 let's see if we can actually hold this level okay in terms of euro stocks let's just quickly go to euro stocks before we finish this uh, little insight here uh, again euro stocks you are finding resistance so there's a zone here at 3625 trading sideways so it looks like hawkish ecb certainly is helping to a large extent we'll see whether that hns formation can play out Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of European markets. FTSE is a laggard, uh, certainly uh, failing to uh, gather strength on the back of uh, good news from Royal Mail. Okay, uh, the good news uh, with regards to stronger Chinese data, that certainly has failed to actually uh, materialise. Okay, we also had good news from Balfour BT as well. Uh, Primark, apparently record sales, but the inside numbers certainly were weak. Uh, either way, uh, that's the status quo. Let's see if 7695 can hold if it fails. 
FTSE certainly is going to slide, and US markets certainly are going to slide as well. On that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signaler. That's uh, so obviously market signals for leading providers from leading providers, and uh, certainly download the, um, the the latest app. And be sure to take advantage of that bonus with CFDs.com. Take care and goodbye now.